Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Subhub Podcast with MK Sullivan and Danny Moreno. Today we have Sam Hendry with us. This last year he was fourth at the Broken Arrow VK and 23K, third at the Flagstaff Sky Peaks race, and second overall in the Cirque Series. Um, and he is a cross country skier for the University of Utah. Welcome, Sam. Oh, yeah, and thanks. a new member of the trail team. Yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, of course. Um, we just recently chatted with Andy and Grayson, and so we are excited to interview all of you guys who are new to the trail team. And what we found fascinating about you and a couple other athletes is you're already in the space and you're in the sport. You already have fantastic results. Uh, one of the top North American sub ultra runners, I think, at least in both of our opinions already, um, as someone to watch in the coming years, this year, beyond. Uh, so what interested you in applying for the trail team? Yeah, um, I think the idea of the trail team is so cool because uh, what Andy's trying to accomplish is bring a bunch of different athletes from different backgrounds who have all done other sports into trail, which is fairly common already with people crossing over from sports like Nordic skiing or from the roads and track. Um, and so coming from Nordic skiing, um, I thought it would be kind of the perfect opportunity to learn more about, uh, running and trail running in particular. Um, and then also get to be a part of a fabulous team of other crossover athletes, um, and learn from them and hopefully support them and contribute to a, a team atmosphere. Yeah, we talked to Andy and Grayson a lot about like the whole team thing. And we're really excited to see you guys out there as like a whole contingent with jerseys and cheering each other on and and um, all that stuff. So as a skier, when did you start trail running and what got you excited about trail running? Yeah, so I'd always followed running and um, those kind of races like a little bit. Um, and I'd always been interested in competing. Um, but I'd never taken it super seriously. And I was always like a little bit worried that competing in the summer would affect my racing in the winter. Um, and so two years ago, um, in the summer of 2021, I tried out a couple of Cirque series races just in Utah and they were so much fun. Um, and it was so cool. And I was like, okay, I got to try and do, uh, more of this next year. Um, and then, yeah, fortunately I was, able to compete at Broken Arrow and then qualify for some golden trail races last year and participate in those. And that was like really, really cool. And it was so fun to be a part of that, uh, racing circuit and series. Um, and that just got me even more excited about the sport and, um, yeah, looking forward to compete for hopefully many years. That's awesome. And so we love highlighting the different types of series that we have available to the sub ultra distance. And so can you just like talk a little bit more about your experience at Cirque Series and like why you love it so much? And you even went back this past year after your first year and got second overall, which I think is awesome. Yeah. Um, the Cirque Series races are really cool, I think. And they're super fun because these like having now participated in bigger races over in Europe, like the folks that are taking part in those, they all train fairly seriously because there's the elite group and then the group below that they still train pretty seriously for these goals and um you know you have to be really fit just to finish some of those races um but what's cool about the Cirque series is that they're a little bit shorter um you know usually like in the six or seven mile range with like three thousand feet of gain and so just about anyone can kind of go out there and what run or walk the course and like have a really good time and so it's really fun to be at those races and get to see so many people who are just very like, maybe not like athletes, um, like folks are in, in Europe as much who are just really enjoying their time to be outside and in the mountains. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a really cool atmosphere for sure. Yeah. I haven't done a Cirque series race yet, but it's on my bucket list. My husband did one this summer and I didn't get to go watch. I was kind of bummed, but um, so having done like the Cirque series, which are kind of like shorter races all the way up to, I think Sears and all has probably been your longest race so far. Yeah. Do you have kind of like a distance in mind that you prefer at the moment? Yeah, I think it's fun right now. Cause I can kind of do both. Um, and 
like I really enjoyed the, the Cirque Series races. That kind of distance is super fast. Um, and you just like rip up the climbs and tear down the descents. But it's also super cool to be doing these like closer to marathon distance trail races where, you know, there's so much more strategy and pacing and fueling and nutrition comes into play and those kinds of things. Um, and even like getting into the uh, ultra scene, I think at some point would be really fun. But um, for now, I like just having that versatility and and getting to do both. Um, so like looking ahead towards this season, I'd really like to compete at the world championships in the classic mountain up and down in the vertical. Cause those are shorter, but then also doing races like the Mont Blanc marathon, which is, you know, a, a full, probably three plus hour race. So yeah. That's awesome. And I would like to highlight too, for the world team, you would be representing Canada, even though you're going to Utah university. Um, are you, do you have citizenship there? Were you born there? Like how? Yeah. Does... So I grew up in, in Canada, um, in the small town, Canmore in the mountain, in the Rocky mountains, um, which is like another reason I grew up running around in the mountains all the time. So the transition to trail was like pretty, or the transition to like competing in trail was pretty natural. Um, but yeah. And then after graduating high school, um, I moved to Utah to join the Nordic ski team there and compete for the U. That's awesome. So the trail team highlights a lot about the crossover athlete, which is one of the big reasons why you are attracted to applying and being a part of it. What benefits do you see from being both a cross country skier and then translating that to trail running? Because I feel like for some people, they just know when a cross country skier is joining the sport, they're like, Oh, they're, they're probably going to be pretty good. Um, but what do you see personally for yourself are like the benefits? Yeah, I think one of the nicest things about, um, coming into trail running from skiing is you already have a really good understanding of training and, um, like how to train to be in the best shape possible for these competitions. Um, and then a lot of Nordic ski races are like 30 or 50 K's and they take a couple hours. So these like 26 K to like marathon distance, it's not like being out there for that long, isn't anything new. And you're kind of used to that. Whereas I think someone coming from track or the road might have a little harder time adapting to a, a race that's two and a half hours long. Um, so yeah. Um, and then I think skiing also has like the like lots of uphills and downhills and varying terrain every course is different and um the snow conditions are always changing which is just like trail running um so mm -hmm. again i think that offers like a great uh great background coming in and sam is currently zooming in from lake placid new york where he's getting ready to compete in the ncaa championships for nordic skiing um so is this your, this is your last season, right? Your senior season? Yeah, exactly. What are you most excited for in terms of like wrapping up for NCAAs here? Yeah, um, it's going to be a really exciting week. And the, the four years that I've been on the team, we have uh, won the national championship, uh, three of them. And, and the first year it was canceled because of COVID. Um, so it's, I've been fortunate enough to be on the team in such a successful time. Um, so I'm really hoping that we can, uh, go through and, and win for a, a third time, which would be, uh, really sweet. Um, especially being my last year and everything. Um, and then in the, in terms of like individual competitions, I've, uh, finished second at NCAAs three times. Um, so it would be really cool to to finally win a race here, but <laughs> we'll see the competition is tough this year. So it might be tricky. Well, best of luck. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, that's huge. And so once you finish, are you, how much more school do you have left? I think it's just for the listeners, you know, highlighting that the trail team still has people that are still in college. Um, and you guys really are that next gen of talent. And so, yeah, like what's, what's next? Like, do you have to finish school through June? Are you going to start racing in like next month or how does it look like? Yeah, I think almost all of us are still in college, um, at least for a couple more months, but we are all seniors, which is really cool. So we're all kind of graduating and, 
um, moving on to different things, which is why I think like the trail team is such a perfect opportunity for all of us to explore trail running and get to take that on. So I'll be wrapping up school um, at the start of May and then, uh, yeah, planning to compete in, in running throughout the summer. Yeah. Give us a rundown of what your schedule looks like right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm hoping to go to the world championships. I'm just waiting to hear back, um, from the Canadian selection committee, if I'll be, um, on the team. And if that goes through, then I'll race the vertical and the, um, classic up down there. Um, and then from there, um, I'm planning on, uh, going back to some golden trail races. So marathon to Mont Blanc, uh, Dolomites and Sierra's and all, and then back to North America for the last two stages. That's awesome. And do you have any goals for the golden trail this year? Yeah, I think it would be, I was like, I had this really amazing race, um, in Flagstaff last year and was able to sneak onto the podium in third place. Um, and I think it would be really, really cool to repeat, uh, with a podium performance again this year on the golden trail series, especially at some of those, uh, bigger races that have a little bit more depth and are a little bit more competitive in Europe, but we'll see. It's going to be really tough for sure. Yeah. And don't let his underselling of that performance, uh, (laughs) confuse you guys. Top three in any golden trail race is incredible. And especially in your first time in the series, uh, that was just amazing, especially with the people that were even at Flagstaff. So definitely make sure to give yourself credit for that. <laughs> yeah, basically everybody was at Flagstaff. So yeah. <laughs> an amazing race. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> what is the race you're most excited for right now? Yeah, I think as someone who's like still pretty new to the sport, the Marathon to Mont Blanc just looks so amazing. Uh, I know Danny was on the podium there last year. And the atmosphere in Chamonix and just the crowds and fans seems like impossible to beat. Um, I don't know if it quite lives up to like UTMB week level of, you know, hype and crowds, but um, I think like every trail runner's dream is to compete in Chamonix and get to finish a race there. Yeah. Yeah. Danny and I both ran that race last year and I haven't done UTMB, any of those races, but Danny has, and I thought it was, it's it's a great experience because it's l- more low key, but it still was like th- a party the whole week that we were there. They had events and music and the start line was up the whole time. It's a great atmosphere. Yeah, that's so cool. And um, another race that I'm really looking forward to, it'll be like the 50th edition this year. And I was there with both of you last year was Sierra's and all. Um, yeah. I just think that's such a unique race where you do this like massive vertical push right out at the start. And then basically run like a half marathon on flat trails with a little crazy downhill to the finish. And I had so much fun in that event last year and can't wait to do it again. That's awesome. Yeah. I think that's where we all met you too, or or we both, we all met each other. Um, (laughs) Well, that's awesome, Sam. Thanks so much for coming on Uh, again for our listeners. Where can they follow you and yeah, follow you for the rest of the year? Yeah. Um, you can follow me on Strava, Sam Hendry, or on Instagram, um, Sam H one D R Y. So that's where my social accounts. Yeah. That's awesome. I've never heard the Strava plug. I'm totally stealing that. That's amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool. Well, good luck, Sam. And we'll chat again later this year. Yeah. Cool. Looking forward to the season and seeing you guys out there. Thanks for having me.